know, maybe it's all the home improvement TV shows or Instagram, but it seems like a lot of us are putting some extra effort into how our homes look and feel. Isn't that the truth? Styles and colors are always changing, so it's a challenge to really keep up to date. Yeah, so today we are checking out the interior design trends you'll be seeing this year and simple ways to include them. That is our featured story at the top of the list. We all get the urge to give our home a little facelift, but sometimes knowing where to start can get overwhelming. One thing I would say is to just do it. The more you think about it, the more intimidating it's going to be. So to help get you started, we met up with Christina Johnson, creative director of the interior design group Private Label. She walks us through her recent project, The Revel Legacy in Scottsdale, Arizona, to highlight some current trends in interior design. This is perfect. It screams comfortable. Look to the trends and just see, is there one that I can adopt, that I can easily adopt, that feels like me? And that's kind of your guide to get started. First up is nostalgic comfort. Which I feel like is a given, but has not always taken in top priority for us. It's just be mindful of just what makes you feel good in your space. This year is all about a neutral color palette. Everything is a little bit softer, so it's not kind of hitting you in the face. This kind of space, you want to be able to walk in and feel at ease. And the same applies with fabrics, soft leathers, knits, and texture that feels soft to the touch. Those nice muted colors and those textures, it's like your home saying, welcome home. It's yes. been a hard day, come and enjoy. Let's move on to home accents, where the focus on locally sourced is growing in popularity. Being able to find things that are just more readily available, that are either from your area of the country or your hometown, your state. It's all about finding pieces that are handmade or that have an artisan feel. For example, this local artist's work is visually striking and it also helps amplify your space. This is a really giant thing in a small space, but that scale makes your room feel larger. Also, it's just unique. What a just a different thing that you're not expecting to see. And also when something is handmade, you're gonna get these like inherent flaws. And so it's beautiful because it has character. Our final it trend, the emphasis on human interaction. As an interior designer, that is something very important to us and how we lay out spaces, how we create opportunities for people to socialize. Kitchen islands will continue to be at the top of homeowners' wish lists for perfectly combining style and functionality. Maybe something like this wasn't here before, but you can add this into your space. Yeah, definitely. So sometimes you don't have the funds to be able to completely renovate your kitchen or to put in an island. And so um, definitely around here, some of the older homes aren't, they don't have islands. And so being able to introduce a piece that can give you that function, you can cook on it, eat on it, congregate, and be able to have that kind of landing spot for your space. Because ultimately, it's all about creating a warm and inviting place with a touch of you in it. Interior design should be personal and the way that you use your things and the way that you use your spaces is a reflection on you and a reflection on the space. And the interior design trends that will help you do that are at the top of the list. <laughs>